Ukraine has been battered by the Russians. The front lines are heating up. Now, from multiple directions, the Russian forces are closing in. And amidst this, Zelensky has sacked his army chief and has appointed a new one. But perhaps the most important development has happened in Moscow, where the Russian President Vladimir Putin has used an interview to urge Washington to recognize Moscow's security interests and to persuade Ukraine to sit down for talks. Listen in. The epicenter of the Ukraine war, the beleaguered Avdivka, breached by the Russian troops who are fighting Ukrainian forces inside the city. Avdivka is a gateway to the Russian-held city of Donetsk, 20 kilometers to the east. After sacking his army chief, Ukrainian president has asked the military leadership to devise a new strategy. His statement reflects the new challenge facing the war-torn nation. I expect such changes in the armed forces of Ukraine in the near future. A realistic, detailed action plan for the armed forces of Ukraine for 2024 should be on the table, taking into account the real situation on the battlefield now and the prospects. Zaras i perspective. Alexander Sirsky, the 59-year-old new army chief, has a tough job on his hands. Within hours of taking charge, Sirsky oversaw a massive drone attack on two Russian oil refineries. Kiev has ramped up strikes on Russian oil and gas facilities in the past two months. But Moscow sounds confident. Defeating Russia is impossible. President Vladimir Putin claimed to US talk show host Tucker Carlson in an interview. There has been the uproar and screaming about inflicting on a strategic defeat to Russia on the battlefield. But now, apparently, the realization comes that this is not easy to do, if at all possible. In my opinion, it is impossible by definition. It will never happen. Ukrainian troops mounted a counter-offensive last summer, but were unable to break through heavily defended Russian lines. Since then, a vital new package of US military aid has been delayed for months by Republican congressional opposition. Putin is looking at this, sees that Ukraine has become a political football in Washington, sees that that sort of unity that was there between the US and Europe would be framed because, again, of how it's, Ukraine has been caught up um, in the domestic politics of the, of the US. Putin warns that the West will never succeed in defeating Russia and rejects allegations that Moscow had ever planned to attack Poland or other NATO countries. It would be interesting to see how the West perceives the missive from Putin. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.